An important aspect of my uh, success journey has been guarding my thoughts. As anyone could understand or imagine, uh, when you've done harm in your life and uh, you experience shame and guilt as a result of that, it's very easy to put yourself down and to allow others to put you down and diminish you in any number of ways. But the key will always be that you don't make those statements into your beliefs about yourself, that your self-esteem and your confidence and your sense of self must uh, be positive. And this is very important to connect to the work that we do with young people who've never heard very often, never heard in their lives that they could be somebody, that they're loved, that someone believes in them. Reflecting on my incarceration, one thing I definitely did was my best to surround myself with positive people. And uh, in a setting like prison, it is, of course, easy to surround yourself with people who are in a negative place and maybe have uh, tendencies and habits that are harmful. Uh, so I learned early on in my incarceration to do my best to surround myself with positive people, people I could see as mentors, people who could inspire me or be examples of, of surviving and thriving, even under the worst of circumstances. And what I've learned is even here on the outside, it's very easy to surround yourself with not just negative people, but negative information and distraction that diverts you from your goals and the focus that you need to have to be successful. So I think I've done a very good job of surrounding myself, not just with good people, but people committed to excellence so that I can strive to be like them and therefore grow.